Are you trying to decide between waiting or buying a house right now? This is David and Amy Vendor, the Vendor Group, serving all your real estate needs in the South Metro Atlanta area. Well, of course, what's a real estate agent going to tell you? They're going to tell you to wait? No, they're going to tell you to buy, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. I mean, it might not be right for you right now. So it is a big decision buying a house, and it may not be the right time for you. The increased interest rates make your monthly payment a lot more expensive. And you have a lot less buying power than you did this time last year. And let's face it. There are some expenses when you're owning a home. I mean, there's a lot of maintenance and it can be quite expensive. If you don't have a little nest egg set aside, it can hurt when you have to replace that roof or the water heater or whatever. So it's, it's an inconvenience when you're renting, but you can pick up the phone <laughs> and then it's not your problem, right? It's the landlord. But if you have a steady job, and you've been fortunate to put a little money aside for an emergency fund, there's a lot of benefits to buying a house. First of all, you are saving money for yourself. Every time you write a check to that landlord, you are building equity for them. You write a check to that mortgage company, you're building equity for yourself. And it's like forced savings where you're saving for your future. Yeah, I mean, there are some people that that almost becomes a savings <laughs> account for them. But it's a good one because over time, you will build equity in your house. So at the end of the year when you do your, when you file your income taxes, the interest you pay on that mortgage can really help you out with those taxes. Oh, and one of my personal favorites, because I love to decorate and I love to make changes to a house, right Dave? <laughs> yeah, she loves to make changes <laughs> to a house. Yes, the creative genius is right here. But anyway, you know, it's your own little sanctuary. So you want to be able, if you want a pink room or you want to knock out a wall, or you want a certain countertop, you want to be able to do those things. And you're very limited in what you can do when you're renting. But when you own it, you can personalize it and you can make it yours. So if you listen to national news right now, it's pretty much all doom and gloom, even with the housing market. And that's absolutely true in certain states and in some cities, but here in Georgia, the Atlanta metro Atlanta area, and especially Fayette and Coweta counties, we've chosen not to participate in that. Yes, we. I mean, there are a lot of large corporations moving to Atlanta, and we have quite a diversity in, in the counties that we serve in South Metro Atlanta. So there, there are so many different jobs here that if one of those sections falls away, there's enough other diversity that'll fill in. We've got airline jobs, we've got medical jobs, we've got, it's turning into the Hollywood of the South. A, a lot of the Marvel movies are filmed right here. And we've got so much of this diversity that if one section falls away, it's, it really doesn't affect it much. So, and, and yes, I'm, when interest rates first went up, things did slow down a little bit. Days on market increased, but right now, because of the lack of inventory, we're really not seeing, we've just seen really a resurgence. So there is there is a shortage of homes compared to buyers. It is still a seller's market. Uh, prices are still very strong. It, it's a great place to, to invest and live in. This is another video, but buyers still carry some weight and they are able to get some negotiations done, get some repairs. So don't lose hope if you are ready to buy a house. So are you waiting for interest rates to go down before you buy? Well, if you buy now and interest rates go up, you're locked in at the lower rate, you're golden. If you buy now and interest rates go down, you can always refinance and get that lower rate. So we have a saying, and I think it was a lender that coined it when the interest rate started going up and everybody was panicking, date the rate, marry the house. If you find a house that you like or you're in a situation where it makes sense for you to begin purchasing a house, then you want to go ahead and do that. Date the rate. That means if the interest rates go down, then you can go ahead and refinance. And Dave, there's some uh, programs out there. There, there are programs out there where mm. if you go ahead and lock into your interest rate now and in a year they come down, uh, a lot of these mortgage companies are giving you a reduced a refinancing charge. Um, those things are changing all the time, they but are. there are options out there. Yeah, to help we like you out. to stay in our lane. We are not lenders, and so we refer to the experts in that area, but we do have lenders that would love to talk to you. So if that's an area of concern or mm -hmm. questions, we can link you to those uh, contacts. I will tell you though, if interest rates go down significantly, you waiting for that right now especially in the south metro Atlanta area there's a shortage of homes and if interest rates go down there's going to be even more buyers out there and instead of right now we're seeing a good house is getting 
four, five, eight offers. It yeah. might be 20 or 30 offers if interest rates go down significantly. Yeah. So, you know, just to recap this, it is a personal decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, not everybody, it may be that you're looking at this, you're listening to us and it's like, yeah, I, I just, I just started a new job or I am looking for a job and I need to get my finances in order, then do that. And you know, it may be that you need to rent for a little while or you're only gonna be someplace for six months. That, that probably, would be silly to buy. If, yes. yeah. Unless you're gonna buy it and then you can become the landlord and rent it out to somebody else. Yeah, there is that. That's a whole nother video <laughs> on investing. Is. You know, think it through. If you wanna talk it through, we'd be glad to do that with you. Our contact information is below. We've got email, text, and telephone. Please reach out. We'd love to talk through that with you.